Let's learn more. Let's learn more. Let's learn more with liberty. After the siege of Boston, the British retreated to Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada in 1776. There, they rebuilt their forces. George Washington knew the British were not done just yet, and he had a hunch where they would attack next. New York Harbor. The Continental Army built up defenses around the harbor and waited for the British. In late June 1776, Washington received news the British fleet set sail from Halifax on their way to New York. A day later, Patriot troops on Staten Island spotted the British fleet. In July of 1776, British soldiers landed on Staten Island, forcing the Patriots to retreat. British ships continued to arrive in New York until the British fleet was over 400 ships and 32,000 soldiers strong. Unsure of whether the British would attack Long Island or Manhattan, Washington split his army in two, moving the bulk of his forces to Manhattan, believing that would be the first target. Soon thereafter, the Battle of Long Island broke out. This was the first major battle after the United States declared its independence on July 4, 1776. It was a victory for the British and the beginning of a successful campaign, one that gave them control of the strategically important city of New York. In terms of troop deployment and fighting, it was the largest battle of the entire war and one that the Patriots did not need to lose. Nevertheless, the quest for liberty was undeterred, and the revolution would continue.